bone in, right? Now it's bone out. I'm gonna show you how to make a meal fit for a witcher or for those of us who just want a nice meal to eat while we watch Nightmare of a Wolf tomorrow. Now everyone knows who Geralt of Rivia is, the witcher, the white wolf, Henry Cavill, but do you know who Vesemir is? Vesemir is Geralt's father figure, teacher, and mentor. He taught Geralt everything he knows. So in honor of one of the OGs, one of the goats, we are going to make a really amazing barley and lamb dish. Now I'm taking Polish influences for this dish because, well, it's based on Polish lore, The Witcher 3. And chanterelles happen to be one of the most popular mushrooms used in Polish cuisine. I can only find these dry, so we're gonna reconstitute them, but if you can find them fresh, it's so much better. You're just gonna need a little bit of hot water directly on top of those mushrooms make sure they're fully covered and just let them hang out while we work with everything else. And for the protein, I am using some lamb shoulder that I came across at a local butcher, so I was really happy about that. But to cook the lamb, we're gonna take some notes from some old school cooking. We're going to confit it. Confit means to cook with fat, and for that, I'm using beef tallow. This was probably available in 13th century Poland versus any refined oils anyways. Will this just fit in my pot? That would be amazing. <laughs> pot. I do want to season it though. They should at least get some salt and pepper. Now what's interesting about confing is that this is actually also a preservation technique. So that way you can leave this in the fat for a few days at maybe like a colder temperature if they had an underground cellar or something like that and it would stay good longer versus maybe just roasting it and keeping it out. But now that we have our lamb shoulder all beautifully seasoned, this is just going straight into our pot. Is it going to fit? Yes. Perfect. That's all I wanted. I'm using a shallow pot. You can see this is not a deep pot because I want this to be covered by the fat when we go to cook it. Now, if you don't want to use beef tallow, you don't have to. It's pretty expensive. And actually, I would just use a neutral oil instead, but we're trying to keep it old school, so we're gonna use the beef tallow. I started off with about half of my jar of beef tallow. I really wish you guys could smell this right now. You're getting that nice beef smell from the tallow, and then the lamb is starting to take shape and, and give it give off its aroma as well, and it's just so many emotions. Unlike The Witcher. Apparently, they don't show emotion. Now, mine isn't actually totally covered, so I'm gonna add just a bit more. This is a very luxurious dish, especially during those times, but it's good, because it's for best Boy. Not gonna lie, this fat is going to make some amazing french fries someday, so keep this. Do not throw away. Now that we have this nice and ready to go, you just wanted all of that fat to really start melting because it's obviously a solid. Wrap this in aluminum foil into the oven at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for like two hours. Let it just go nice, slow, and low. Maybe even 300. We'll lower it really slow and low. Now that we have the lamb going, let's talk about the grain, in particular pearled barley. It's also very common in Polish cuisine, so we're going with this as well, but feel free to maybe just use a nice brown rice if you can't find any barley. Now to cook the barley, it is very simple. Into a pot. We are adding two parts water to one part barley. In particular for this, I'm using two cups of water to one cup of barley. Make sure you season your water with just a pinch of salt, otherwise the barley is not going to taste like anything. Now once your water comes to a boil, this is when we're going to add our barley. Very, very carefully add your barley, mind you. I don't want to... I don't want to get hit with any boiling water. That's not fun. In goes my 220 grams of the barley. Now once this comes to a boil, throw a lid on it, bring it back down to a simmer and let it go for about 25 minutes until the barley is tender. And then we're going to drain it and cool it down. I'm going to put it over here though. Turn this off. The next thing we're going to add is the almighty potato, which has one of the best healing rates in the game. And it's also one of the cheapest items to get. I don't know how that worked out, but we're going to be adding potato because of that. We're going to do skin on. You want to do skin on for this. It adds a nice earthy flavor to it. People say it tastes like dirt. I think it's fine. All we're going to do is cut these into nice small chunks, or as I like to call, maybe like a small dice. I don't know, chefs, maybe that's a medium dice. Now, once you have your potatoes all ready to go, we're not actually going to cook this quite yet. I take that back. I'm impatient. I'm just going to pull some of the fat now, toss it in this, and we're just going to roast it. I don't need much of this because it is really, really rich. So we're just going to take a couple of spoons just to get it nice and coated. Maybe three spoons. Oh, oh. you can already see the, the fat has already kind of solidified again because of how cold the potatoes were. That's good. You know, high quality stuff. Make sure you season this with salt and pepper as well. And then into the oven this goes, and you can just throw it in at 300 with the lamb that's in there. We're gonna cook this for about 20 minutes just to soften them, and then we're gonna saute them up later. Yeah. With everything else working, the last thing we're gonna do is some parsley that's gonna get tossed in with everything later. Give this a nice chop. Make sure you chop this up enough to where when you toss it in with barley later, it's not gonna have giant leaves in there either, because that's not fun. Why would you want that? There, look at beautiful flaky parsley. Now with parsley, since it is super fresh, just grab yourself a paper towel, place it into some kind of a bowl and then place the parsley in there. This way it doesn't get super soggy on you while you're waiting for everything else to finish. Garnish, done, that's it. Now we play the waiting game or play some more Witcher. It's been about 25 minutes and our barley is done. Like, look at, look at this. It's nice and floofy. Let this cool down. Since we're going to be cooking this again later, we do want this to be totally cold over cooking. So we're going to place this on the sheet tray for about 20 minutes at room temp and then pop it in the fridge while we're waiting for everything else to finish. Like, look at, look at those pearls. Those look beautiful. Mmm, mmm, so good. Okay. 
So it's been about two and a half hours on our lamb confit. And I want you to, I want you to see this. I want you to witness this. Oh, look, look at that lamb. That, oh, the smells coming from this are absolutely fantastic. We're just gonna, we're gonna pull this out, basically pull the meat apart and let it cool down for a second. Look at this, there's a bone, this is bone in, right? Now it's bone out. I mean, come on, that's how you know it's tender. There's no resistance, zero. I can barely pull this out of here, so I have to be super careful. Oh my God, pull it off in chunks. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Look at that friggin' lamb. Now, remember, cool down this fat and save it. We're gonna strain it and save it once it's a little more cool. You can reuse it a couple of times, but make sure you keep it in the fridge, yeah? Don't leave this out. You know, we're just gonna take a little bite. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Are you not entertained? That is I have no words. We're gonna let this hang out for a second. Now comes for the fun part, putting it all together. I'm gonna be using some of this delicious fat that we had from earlier to start things off. This is gonna be so rich. Now, first thing we wanna do is actually cook off our chanterelles because they're still nice and soggy, so we wanna make sure these get a nice crispiness to them. They taste so much better when they're cooked in fat directly and kind of remove some of that water that it pulled with it. Be careful, you know, splash zone. After about one to two minutes, make sure you season this with some salt. Don't put salt on it immediately because it'll leach more water. Definitely gonna smoke out my house at some point today. Now, once you have some color on the mushrooms, this is when we're gonna hit it with some onions. I just diced up some onions and then just a few pieces of our potato. Get those going as well. You can see how this starts adding up into a lot of food. So keep that in mind when you're making this. Now we're gonna let this cook until those onions get slightly translucent and then we're gonna add our barley. Start in the smoke out the house. Now, once those onions are soft, this is when barley is gonna go in. All by like two cloves of chopped garlic that I, I chopped on the side. We're just gonna add that in there too. Now fully incorporate all of this and then we just have to finish it with some parsley. Now what you're looking for after adding the barley in is if it starts to stick to the bottom, this is when you know it's pretty much done. So we're gonna hit it with just a touch of water to deglaze the bottom just a bit, get all that flavor off of there. Then we're gonna hit it with a hefty amount of parsley. Oh yes, like a good amount of parsley. Turn off the heat, toss all this together, get ready to plate up. Now the next thing we need to do is just heat up the lamb after this. We're gonna try to get this on there as nicely as possible. How am I gonna do this with this spoon though? You know, we're plating for Vesemir. We gotta make sure the boy's happy. He's done so much, I think. Okay, I think we got most of it on there. Now, the pan's gonna go right back on so we can heat up our lamb and that's gonna be it. We're gonna hit this with just a touch of water to get it going. We're gonna do a couple pieces of our lamb so we can save some for the wife. We're just gonna break this up. Look how easily that pulls apart. We're just gonna toss it just ever so gently so you still get some chunks in there. Kinda get those fats going again, you know? Now we're gonna go right on top with our lamb. We're gonna garnish just ever so slightly, just with a couple of fresh lemons because it's gonna give it so much pop. And then finally, right on top, just a small dollop of yogurt. This is gonna pull everything together. Just a bit more parsley all the way throughout. And then finally, a little bit of flaky salt right on top of that yogurt. And there is a meal fit for Vesemir. I'm really excited for Nightmare of a Wolf to release tomorrow, and I'm probably gonna be having leftovers of this. It's luxurious in every single way I could think of as far as Novigard goes, but it's also super simple to make because active cooking time was only maybe 30 or 40 minutes. Everything else just kind of cooked in the oven. That's the bite. That's the bite. 10 out of 10, would make again. It is incredibly delicious. Everything plays so well together. From the lamb, to the barley, to the potatoes, to the fat of the beef, a little bit of creaminess from the yogurt. One of my other favorite dishes recently is Yukihita's Mapo Tofu, 6,000% faster. Click and watch that right over here. My name is Chef BK, and remember, keep playing with your food. I don't know if I'm gonna save any of this for the wife. I could probably eat all of that lamb in one shot.